If I was a toenail and I only charged one hundred dollars to clean your house. Also, cuz that's my that's my song of the day. So we already did this concrete. What's up, Cristiano? Oh man. So we already did that. We already did. I'm 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 GoPro on the shit out of this. All right, so I'm gonna make you guys a time lapse. What's up, invasion? What's up, guys? Give this video a like. Hit that smash that smash that like button, bree. Oh man, dude, it's a little chilly out back. Uh, here we go. Did this. Did the deck. Did the whole house. Did the whole house. You got some fun little streaks. Did this garage. Ooh ooh ooh, looking excellent here. Oh man, and dare I say, the old, uh, how is a uh, Q product placement, sudden draw. You know, I dumped, you guys know me and Sir Factor, okay? I'm hard on it, but I'm gonna tell you, I got a 45 gallon tank right here of El Yeah. That's Spanish for the Yeah. And, uh, I, uh, I dumped, uh, I don't know, like a couple glugs in there, like literally next to nothing because I'm terrified, dude, of uh, spotting windows. And uh, that's why I don't use surfactant. It's because, you know, you gotta, it's always like some little ratio. I'm digging down in the bottom of the damn thing, right? What's up, what up, girl? what up, Truth? What up, Liberteo? Um, but I'm gonna show y'all here what I just did. Okay, clean the deck. So my, my standards for deck are I am cleaning it in in, in uh, uh, how do I? No, so I'm not cleaning. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and scar the deck up because uh, you want it to look bright and new. You know, I refuse to dig into the wood so much but look this is the neighbor this is the neighbor and this is theirs so we hit it we hit it cuz it looked good um grandma's out front weeding or something so i don't want her going in and tattletailing on me you know how grandmas are depending he's out there doing a facebook live around your house you know, customer calls me and they're mad. Well, you know, I didn't authorize any videotaping. Yeah, well, you and no one else. Okay, so. Do, 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 do. Sneaky, sneaky. Do, 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 do. Sneaky, sneaky. Do, do. I didn't do that. I didn't price that shit. I priced this. This was all green. And check it out. This stuff won't come out. But if you notice, look at the lines. Do they map? Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Okay, so this was sealed at one time. How do I know? It's beating up. So, so look at that. It's beating up. So somebody sealed it at one time. So this must be some sort of remnant that's dripped. See the lines here? Lines here, lines here, and the cross hatch. You see, well, my, my 19 inch whisper wash is, uh, it's 19 inches. It ain't, uh, six inches, okay? So that ain't me. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. It's had like little cobwebs and stuff, you know. They're selling the house. So, uh, I completely understand. Now, look, one of the big things with Hardy Board, this is what I'm you know, Those are not going to come off. And personally, I just need to tell you. For what I would have to charge to make that shit worth it. 
<laughs> Y'all are funny. Man, I, I literally don't. I'm like, you know, I'm going to clean this deck. Not going to seal it. Definitely not a painter guy. What a could? What a could? Hey, I've been trying out your sticky icky southeast. You know. You know. Um, spray a little yam on it. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. Um, it's good. It's good reviews, man. It's good reviews. It don't spot windows, I don't think. But, you know, I use like a freaking... Uh, I don't know that, that for sure, but I don't, I don't use enough. I don't use enough. I literally, I'm like this in a 40 gallon tank. Let me tell you how much I do. Glug, glug, glug. Okay, that's enough. Might be too much. <laughs> that's how I do it. So, I'm not gonna time lapse these, uh, these windows because time lapsing window cleaning is like watching paint dry. Unless you're doing it with a squeegee. And you guys know that ain't happening. Dude, she has two beautiful German Shepherds over here. Holy moly. Don't let me get close. I'll take one. Oh, man. I'm going to have to start referring out Ricky Tommy to some of these people who uh, I, had a, I had a lady say my price was a little too high for. Her. So, uh, I'm gonna refer her out to Ricky Tommy. I called Ricky and he didn't he didn't call me back. Well, you know, you just gotta keep calling him. <laughs> That's your punishment for being cheap. You deserve it. Look, I called him 18 times and and he didn't even call me back. Yeah, well, you gotta keep calling him. He might eventually answer. He's probably at the track. He don't answer when he's working on his race car. But uh, if you can look him up on Google, nonprofitpressurewashing.com. That's him. <laughs> Coronavirus, that's what. <laughs> yeah, she didn't, not this client. This client's awesome, dude. This is, this is high ticket right here. This is, this is that, that, that real estate game, okay? You know, come to think of it, I don't even know the lady, the real estate agent that referred me, dog. I don't know. But uh, I need to know Molly, whatever, whoever she is. I need to. Oh, man. Work out a little deal, but uh, as long as you send it my way for free, you know, we're going to keep on that deal. And uh, if you start not sending them my way, then we're going to work out a paid deal, okay? Because I need you to keep sending <laughs> Oh man, dude, I'm gonna tell you, I just got all my uh, GoPro, um, my little GoPro, uh, what is it, batteries in? Got a bunch of little China made batteries. Hopefully they don't catch fire. Um, other than that, man, it's a good day here in the alleyway. This guy's going to Line X Monday, Monday. And um, other than that, dude, next week's packed. I'm booking some stuff into April. It's good, man. After this, I'm gonna take this long ass thing back. See, you know, that's the benefit of lean and mean. The benefit of lean and mean, among other things, hello. But <laughs> the benefit of lean and mean is I could take this guy to Chipotle. You ain't taking this freaking ridiculous situation to Chipotle. Somebody steal your surface cleaner right off the bat. I know, right? Your daddy, that's hilarious. The bleach aisle is empty. And then the pool shock aisle for you guys using pool shock is completely wide open. Dude, these people are dumb. Bro. You know, you guys know I love, I love some good propaganda. I love good propaganda. Not in what it does. I just love studying people and the human mind and why people buy and all those things. That's, that's, I, I have an infatuation. And dog, people have taken the bait. You know, I gotta talk to some of my Bernie friends. You know, my Bernie bros here coming up. I have friends who are vote all across the board. 
not close friends, but you know, they friends. And uh, they don't come to the house, but uh, I gotta talk to them after this whole deal goes, blows over. And I'm really wanting to place bets is my thing. I'm being like, hey look, we'll place a thousand dollar escrow bet. You put it in an escrow that I don't get that shit, that I don't get it. I bet I don't get it. And they're like, but, but, but I'm like, no, nope, just, I bet I don't get it. I bet I don't. I bet you don't get it. Hysteria. But the hysteria is real, guys. So you gotta wipe this off. You know you in a game when your phone's coated in a light, a light little salty flavoring of sodium hypochlorite. First cor coronavirus house wash today, that's it. You know, some uh, sanitation. Look, for you guys out there selling it, I made a post in the in the Lean and Mean group. If you don't have the PDF, I'll put it in the freaking description so you guys can get that high ticket PDF. I ain't been putting it in there for like a while now. What am I doing? I've just been really lazy, but now we've got the time lapse today and I'm gonna show you guys this whole house wash. So that'll probably be up, mm, I don't know, three weeks from now. No, probably not, like maybe tonight. Um. Yeah, you should be selling on the back of coronavirus. And why I say that is because all these little fucking youth pastors on pressure Washington YouTube channels who don't like me saying that. That's the only reason I'm saying that. Um, because uh, here's the thing. You sell how you need to sell. Everybody's selling how they need to sell. Look, Lysol sells on the back of coronavirus all the time. Okay? They sell, they kill these, you know, mucinex or the fat little mucus-like family that lives in your nose, you know? And mucinex busts through the door and kicks their ass. They're selling on the back of you having this cold for two weeks and you can't break it. Well, mucinex obviously is the cure, dude. Everybody's selling on the back of that forever. So people, you know, they're wanting to invent these little honor codes that you... You, you should be guilty for selling on the back of coronavirus and hysteria. I'm like, well, dude, we're the only people who actually have the equipment and the know-how to do something about the playgrounds and to do something about it. So, so maybe, just maybe, little, little Reverend, get, get, give, him, give, me, give Rev just two minutes here. Maybe we're the virtuous ones. Maybe because we have the equipment, the know-how, and the chemicals, maybe we're the ones in the right. Maybe we're most right, if there is a right spectrum here, because you're offering your services, you're offering your know-how, your gas, your equipment, your chemicals, dude, you're helping people out. You're actually, and bleach does kill um, everything, so. Except bad gum, except, uh, well, except oxidation on gutters. So, you know, look, listen. Some of these guys on YouTube, some of these guys, um, some of these guys on the groups, okay? Give him pricks in his house. Shoot, man, I put old Perry Stone on here. I put old Perry Stone on that ass. Perry brings it. Dang, that didn't sound like an Ultima, did it? I don't know, bro, bro, you put some exhaust on Altima. Okay. Um, I'm just saying, don't let people guilt you out of running your business, okay? All right? I don't think it's, I don't think it's, it's, it's Jesus-like to, to sell on the back of this. Dude, you got the, you got the chemical. Now's the time. Now's the, nope, I'm not going to take $5,000 if you would give it to me. I'm not going to do it to help you out and kill this virus that's all over that playground. Not uh, going to happen. <laughs> well, you should do it for free. You should, uh, and if you're going to do that, that's fine too. That's completely fine. But get press. Do it for free, but get cameras on it. And make sure the town knows who you are, okay? See, my shit's completely opposite than what... I know that, too, because I hear what everybody else is saying. No. no, do it in the cover of night. So people come out and they still don't know that it's even cleaned. They just go about their day. And only you know as you drive by. 
I cleaned that, and I saved those little kids. But kids aren't dying. But still, I saved them. Like, no. No. No, 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 no. You do it for free. You get the camera crew. I'm calling News Channel 5, News Channel 10, News Channel 20, News Channel 3. Freaking fake news CNN. I'm calling them all. All right? And they're all going to come out, and they're all going to freaking, like, know that I'm cleaning this. That's how it works, guys. You got to quit being squeamish. All right? Well, you know, they can't even, if you ask them, look, if you ask people who are against it, they don't really have a reason. It's just because somebody way back or some old guy, their grandpa told them that you should do shit and not tell people. That's what, they just literally bought that, like a deacon at the church. Well, Uncle Ronnie said, do stuff and don't tell people. And I'm like, no, do stuff and tell a lot of people. <laughs> like, we're trying to build a business here. What are y'all fucking talking about? <laughs> like, what? Oh, my God, man. This is hilarious. I hope you guys are having a great day. Oh, just, it's just like throw stacks of money at people. Nope. I'm running the opposite direction. I don't understand. So, you know, if you're watching Lean and Mean today, guys, you're getting the opposite. <laughs> What's up, Hamid? Hamid in the house. Little cuz. So I quit being lazy, like I said, and got my uh, GoPro back running. I had to buy a bunch more batteries because y'all know GoPro, man. GoPros don't last long enough. And me, I'm over here with my tiger gloves, wet fingers, like shoving 20 to one coated batteries in the back of this thing, knowing it's gonna rot. <laughs> like someday it's just gonna corrode the inside. You know you can't escape bleach. Every time you got some new clothes on, I seem to do this. I bring new clothes out here and I'm working on it. And I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna, you know, change this one fitting, just this one fitting. No, nope. you ruined them. It's like, a, it is just, it is on time every single time. Black jeans, done. So, I'm gonna jump back on this deal, guys. Uh, just wanted to tell you, make sure you put the shit in the fine print, okay? Um, and don't be squeamish about this whole situation. Some of you guys are doing amazing and you're, you're, uh, you're doing amazing and you're promoting for this situation. Um, and I love it. Y'all are killing it. Um, but if you're not, then you ask yourself, why aren't you? And then ask yourself, like, what, what, like, broke old person told you not to do that? And why? And then go against that. Like, you really have to just evaluate what's best for your family and for you. Okay? And you have to, you have to practice something called thought rejection. And I really, I really... Uh, I'm in the early stages of teaching this kind of thing to my son um, because people people will fucking lie to your face and some people they're not doing it because it's an innately malicious right like if someone told you that like uh, promoting on the back of Corona your your pressure washing business is is bad or somebody said well you should just go mow her lawn and not tell her you know so she wakes up one day and she's like, oh, the lawn's mowed. I don't know who did it. And only you know. It's like, you're doing it for free anyway. So just tell her you're helping her. You see what I'm saying? Like, people find this weird backwards virtuous thing in there. I don't know what that's about. Um, it's bullshit. What up, Ellie? Ellie. Ellie in the house. Let me get a smile, Ellie. Ah, ha, ha. I know she probably smiled right there. Um... Okay, so you really have to practice that. With my son, you know, kids on the playground, dude, kids will just say anything, right? Just kids will just say anything, dude. They'll say whatever. They'll tell your kid anything, right? And your kid's like kind of, he's not destroyed, but he's like kind of distraught. What you have to do is you have to take him down low right here, man. You got to get down with him right here, man. Get down here. Talk to him. And you gotta tell him, listen. Some people don't know what they're talking about, but they're gonna tell you. My dad used to tell me this when I was little. He said, people will tell you things. And you gotta learn, you gotta study, and you gotta know. 
I don't mean always studying all the school books, because there's some good propaganda in there too. The victors write the history books. So here's the deal. You gotta be able to tell your son that some people don't know what the heck they talking about, but they'll spout off. They'll just talk to you and tell you a bunch of garbage. And you're over here, the crazy thing, here's the problem with the brain, okay? The problem with the human brain, and it, it is just a constant sponge. Have you ever noticed that? You know, with some things, you know, I guess like a computer, but stuff really doesn't delete. Like, you can delete stuff. You just delete it. Now, it distorts it, and it goes into some waste piece of the hard drive, right? But it actually deletes. It's not accessible. I wish we had that ability with our brains, because then we could actually practice real thought rejection we could be like hmm no don't want that that's a broke ass thought that's a broke ass thought that's broke ass thinking that's mediocrity uh that's youth pastor bullshit um that's like a therapist who doesn't even have their own life together but they're still talking to me um all right and you could actually delete it but here's why propaganda works is because your brain is just a sponge it's a one-way ticket dog it just goes in. It just goes in. It's insane. So when, you, when you're when you learning sales, right, or you're learning marketing, or you're learning how to brand your business, right, you can understand. <sighs> yeah, Rich, dog, you tuned in late, my man. I already covered the Hardy Plank part. I'm just talking about Hardy Plank uh, oxidization and how you need to make sure that you have a lot of uh, wonderful fine print in your estimates that the oxidization streaks are not going to come off. It's similar to the gutters, um, and people need to know, okay? So, I'm like, dude, listen, these things ain't going to come off. I got a buddy, Ricky Tommy, he got a brush, though, and he'll brush the shit out of it. Here's his number. <laughs> and I called Ricky. Whenever you get done with his house wash, I'll get him out here. He didn't answer, but uh, I called him about three times. And uh, left messages every time. He never answered. Yeah, just keep calling him. <laughs> He's a good old boy. He's good. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. You know. He's fresh out about three years ago, but he's a good dude. He's a good guy. So, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm going to bump off. Hey, stay tuned for this video, okay? All right. Houston, Texas, bro, you in the money capital of the planet, dog. If you can't make this work, Sandoval, you need to quit. If you can't make, look, Houston, if you in Houston, there's money, baby, all right? Make it happen. Make it happen today, all right? See ya.